again, back again, more videos, more records, um, and more noise blaring out of the speakers from behind me there, as you can hear. Um, it's New Zealand Music Month again! Not again, Jesus Christ, we've only just had New Zealand Music Month, didn't we? Uh, yeah, a year ago. Wow, that went fast. Alrighty, okay, so yeah, um, I bought a bunch of New Zealand stuff just before the start of the month and then I have actually ordered so far one record per day and some of those have arrived, some of them are on back order, some of them haven't even been sent yet because the people who are selling them haven't got off their asses and sent them to me. So I have about half a dozen records or so to show. Um, and, and, uh, <laughs> and, and I won't be buying a record today because I've kind of run out of funds. I'm um, really rates still coming in that. It's going clean me out. Um, so, what's playing in the background arrived today. Um, not familiar with them at all, uh, but saw this come up on Bandcamp. And there's a few parts to it here. Um, this is uh, obviously some sort of self-released um, record as you can see it's one of these kind of just a folded piece of cardboard this is not um it's actually got quite a real texture is that what they call a screen print as you can hear it's pretty heavy in the background creamy vocals um grungy sort of metal it's got this um little booklet uh, dedicated to anna now anna was the singer this was recorded in 2017 um, I'm not sure who Anna was, is, but it was interesting because there was a gig here in, well, there was a gig in Christchurch a couple of weeks ago with a lot of punky sort of bands. Um, it was a dedicated to someone called Anna, so I wonder if it's the same Anna. Um, she passed away in, looks like, 2017. So yeah, I'm not sure who Anna is, but there she is there. So it looks like there are uh, two women and two blokes in the band, is it? One's called Vanya on drums. The final show, Full Noise Punk Festival, Greyland Library, Auckland, 3rd of March 2018. So they are no more. So yeah, I don't know a lot about this, but it's cool that they put this album out, and it sounds pretty cool. And you get this little um, patch with it if you would like to sew it on. Um, and it's on a very nice purple vinyl, which I can't show you. Right, so that arrived today. So these are the ones that I've ordered at the start of this month, or the last first week of this month. So these are all New Zealand purchases. Um, this is the, the Drab Do Riffs Aquatic Ape Therapy. This is an EP that they put out on 112 Records. So I have been collecting uh, a, a few of the 112 Records um, releases this is a 10 inch i don't really like 10 inches particularly or 7 inches i prefer 12 inches um i don't have to get up and change the record so often but this is really good this is grungy um surfy grungy rockabilly sort of yeah cool stuff cool stuff there's a bit of this around in new zealand um yeah pretty cool artwork also today arrived this one, Super Turtle, I just showed in my last video, I believe, or in the vid no, it wasn't, it was in my Record Store Day video, I guess. Um, Super Turtle put out an album uh, quite some time ago, um, and now this is their second album. It's been quite a few years between records. Um, I only just picked up the first one, like I say, on Record Store Day. I got it for in the big Record Store Day for, uh, sale. Um, but I heard a track of this on a on uh, the Counting the Beat podcast, and I thought that actually sounds quite cool, quite good. Um, and yeah, I've had a listen to this tonight, and it is pretty cool. Um, it's very 80s, quite retro. Um, so what is it called? Student Flat Reunion. Super Turtle. And the last of today's arrivals, and I haven't actually had a listen to it, but again, I am familiar with one track off it. Word gets around. This is a collaboration between the Laney Davidson, who many will know, if you, who my regular viewers will know, that I have quite a lot of Delaney records. And as a matter of fact, I showed one recently that he did with Bruce Russell, which is a pretty outrageously cool record that he did. 
This is with a completely different type of guy uh, called Barry Saunders. Barry has been around many years and he was in a band called the Waratahs, who were kind of a country type band, I think, from memory. Folky country. Well, I know the Waratahs, I don't know their music very well, but I know who they are. I might have even seen them play once, many, many, many years ago. Anyway, there is a track that's off this that Chris had played on the on the uh, Canada Beat podcast, which I really, really liked, and I don't know which track it is, but I thought that track will become a New Zealand classic. It's it, it, it's a really classic song, really cool. Um, a couple of people have said this sounds really, really good. So that's going on after this noise. All right, okay, so a bunch that have arrived this last week, which I purchased before Record Store, uh, before um, New Zealand Music Month. This one I mentioned uh, in my last video, the Mint Chicks uh, Screens LP. This was, I believe, their third and final LP or album that was released. Um, originally only on CD. As I said in my last video, I had to send this back because it had a ripple on the first track and my turntable was jumping and skipping. This one still has a ripple but it did play just and I can't be asked sending it back again. They did send me a, an envelope to return it if I needed to. Um, similar artwork to the last one that I showed which was the Crazy Yes Dumb No or whatever it was called. Um, yeah, interesting artwork. Um, not bad record that. So that arrived, that replacement arrived. Um, and then a couple of um, older records that I purchased second hand off of um, one of a trade me, but a guy who's in the, in, well both of these are from people who are in the uh, New Zealand vinyl, New Zealand vinyl lovers Facebook community. And uh, this first one is Storm. I think that's how you say it, Stung. Now, I tried to look up the word Stung, and it doesn't seem to be a word. It is purely the name of the band. And a Google search um, throws up this name of the band and some information of the band. And if I put in the word, and if I put in the meaning of the word Stung, then the closest it gets is Achtung. Achtung. So, this is kind of arty, proggy, Slightly weirdish, um, really good, really good. Um, a pretty rare LP, never been reissued in any format as far as I am aware. Um, the side one I like the most, uh, side two closes with a song called Doon the Dunny, or Down the Doon the Dunny. Dunny being, or Dunny, Dunny being a slangy word for toilet. Um, well, actually, more like long drop, you know, hole in the ground. Good, good record. Really pleased to have it. And another one, um, rare, a fairly rare, obscure New Zealand original I picked up is Collision from 1978. And this is a very, uh, this is funky. This is one of the funkiest records I have ever heard out of New Zealand. There are six members of this band and most of them, most of them look like Māori. Um, God, is there, there might be more than six, is there? One, two, three, four, five, six. You yeah, know, six. Um, none of the names are familiar, although one of the guys looks familiar to me, but I can't, maybe he's just there. Um, yeah, really great. There's a, a cover version, a very funky version of Ray Charles' What I Say. But I do believe that a lot of these are originals, which is cool. Um, you Give Me Love is probably the song that is well, they're most well known for, which I think turned up on a vinyl compilation of New Zealand disco funk stuff from the late 70s which I didn't bother getting because I believed it had too much filler on it um, and I'd rather track the stuff down this way which I have a couple of the songs that are on that compilation I have tracked down original copies um, really pleased to have this a little bit noisy but it plays all right and, and um, music's pretty cool now the last three uh, out of flying out this last couple of weeks I picked up the first Caveman um, album, Cave Caveman album. Um, just self-titled by the looks of it on 
This is a reissue. Originally it was issued on 112 Records, which is the same as the, the Drab Do Riffs record I showed. Um, and I don't know whether that's still available, but I actually picked this up. This is a reissue, and it's on this beautiful red vinyl. Um, and I think the original wasn't on a red vinyl, I think it was on a black vinyl. Um, Dirty Water Records. Um, the cavemen are actually uh, residing in the UK and recording in the UK. Um, and I did show their latest LP, which is absolutely awesome. Um, Nukes, I think it's called, uh, recently in the last video or so. Um, so I have all three of their albums now. Uh, very raw, garage, rock, punk. Uh, a reissue, and I picked up this one here. The Headless Chicken's Body Blow. This is the first time on... No, it's not. Tell a lie. This is a, a reissue, but it's not the first time on vinyl. It was it was, uh, it was, was issued originally in 1991 on vinyl, surprisingly enough. Um, just probably towards the end of the time when people were still releasing stuff on vinyl. Um, not long after, everyone just bought it, left went for CDs. Um, a lot of music from the 90s that was never re released on vinyl. Um, this is an expanded version, um, and slightly, there's actually one track difference at the end of side two, which was not, they swapped out a track from the original vinyl, and then they put all the additional um, mixes of the same tracks on the last two sides, um, on the expanded part of it. And actually that last album is really good, because the, the hits of the time, and I mean, these guys were huge in New Zealand. I mean, these songs, I know them all so well. I mean, Donda Esther La Polo, um, Choppers, Mr. Moon, Juice, Cruise Control, uh, a gas cranking station, George. All of those were huge, massive hits played all over television and maybe the radio, I guess, from there. Maybe I probably more saw them on TV at the time, on videos. Um, the last three tracks on the last side, I don't know where they come from, but they are very cool and very different and pretty weird. Um, but yeah, these tracks on side three are the, um, the versions that I'm more familiar with, and they were like the remixes, like the Kentucky, Kentucky Fruit Chicken remix, um, etc. But anyway, fantastic release, really pleased. I'm still, we're still waiting on the reissue of Stunt Clown, which was the previous album to that. I do have their first one, on um, vinyl, which I picked up off, which is a Flying Nun release originally from 1988. So, and finally, finally got my hands on this. This was released on the 26th of August. This is Elders Harding's new record, Designer, her third LP. Been much anticipated. Um, wrote a lot of the songs while she's been touring all over the world for the last couple of years. She is doing really, really well for a New Zealand chick. She is doing very, very well internationally. Um, this record will be uh, probably snapped up. It would probably make the charts here, I would imagine. Um, it's not commercial, but it is much more accessible than her last record. Her last record was pretty damn good. It had some very, very good moments on it. This is, I, I'm really enjoying this. Some people are saying it is her best. I don't know if it's her best so far, and she's only done three. It's different, each album she's done is different. The first album was a really, kind of, she sounded like an Irish folk singer, especially the way she sings, um, that was very folky. The next album had a lot more intensity to it, and she had a lot more vocal or acrobatics, and which put some people off the way she sings. Her, her vo vocals on this, there is the occasional high-pitched vocal, but mostly she's singing in a deeper register. Um, this is very laid back and a very mature record. I do really like it. I, I'm still not sure whether I would call it her best work. Um, I do like the weirder stuff that she little did um, on the last LP, I think. And saying that, I, I do I like I like Eldis a lot. I saw her do something live, which was a, a, an, an, an awesome moment of pure um, joy and, and had me. Uh, it was very emotional impact on me, and that was something that stuck in my mind for the rest of my life. Um, she's definitely a, 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 a fantastic talent. And, I, and I, I think this record will grow on me still as well. So really, really pleased to have that. Excellent, that's me. I managed to sneak that through in uh, 15 minutes. Well, it's a bit longer than I thought it'd be. But it's still playing in the background, so that's good. Didn't have to get up and change the record. Okay, that's me. I've got 
several records on order and when the funds become available I will be purchasing a lot more records for May New Zealand Music Month. Uh, we're only 10 days in so we've still got 20 days to go. Um, that's a lot of records if I can get enough money to buy them. I've got a lot on my want list. See you next time. Bye.